Today, I'm excited to show you our new steel panel trellis. This thing is made to last a lifetime. I'm gonna show you the measurements. I'm gonna take it apart and show you how easy it is to put back together. So this is designed to either go along the back of a raised bed, if you have a border raised bed, something that's leaning up against a fence or a home or a driveway. This is perfect to give you growing space right along the back of that bed or it's also created to go down the center of a wide raised bed. So if you have a four foot wide raised bed, this could go right down the center so that you can grow, like using the floor to weave method, you can grow your vines right up the center all the way down the bed. The third way you can use a panel trellis is in the landscape, and that's how I have it set up here. This can be used to grow climbing roses, to grow vining blackberries or raspberries, anything that needs a vertical support, this is designed to create just that. It's nice and sturdy. We have extra spikes for support to make sure it doesn't move in the ground. You could even cement it in if you needed to um, for support, but we have uh, one foot spikes that are right down below. I'll show you those as I pull it apart. So let's talk about the dimensions of this new trellis. So this is exactly 32 inches uh, across. So it's basically um, two and three quarters feet uh, across long, uh, wide ways. And then if you go from top to bottom, we designed this to be exactly six feet tall. So we did that on purpose because we had so many trellises uh, that you can find at the shop and stores and they're really too short. So if you've ever grown vining cucumbers, tomatoes, pole beans, um, blackberries, raspberries, all those kinds of things, they really don't um, grow just to four feet tall or five feet tall. They can grow, you know, for a long, long way. So we wanted the trellis to be at least six feet tall to be able to capture all that growth and support it. So it's two and three quarters feet long, feet wide, and six feet tall. Um, each of these squares is, I believe it's um, eight inches by 12 inches, something like that. So it's like eight inches wide, and then they are 12 inches long. So that's what all these little windows look like. So we've designed this to really go with the look of the Nicole Arch Trellis. They both uh, work with each other really well in the same space. And it's also designed to be able to ship right to your door. So we've used this design in kitchen gardens in my designs for years. And now we have one that we can ship right to you. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I asked the, uh, the designer when we worked together to give me a look that even though it's two pieces, for the front of it to look like it's just one piece. That was really important to me. And he did a fantastic job what they did is created the connector right here on the back side. So on the front side of the trellis, you really see no seams, and it looks like it's all one piece, even though it got shipped to you in a box. So this comes with just two bolts. Um, I think these are called bolts, nuts and bolts. Um, two, that's all you have. You don't need a tool for this. You're just simply going to, um, I'm sure you could tighten this, but really I did it all by hand and it's held up in some pretty serious storms that we've had here in Nashville. So those are the only two extra pieces. You get two um, bolts and nuts, and then this is just two pieces. So this is the top piece, and you can see the sides are tubular steel, and they're hollow, but they're very solid. That's what the, the top piece looks like. And then the bottom piece is created for you to just simply slide the top piece right on top, just like that. And if you have the Nicole Arch Trellis, you'll recognize you know, this, um, this design. We have the same kind of design, this slide and lock text, uh, design for the Nicole Arch too. So this just comes, I have my little support here. This just comes right off the ground. Again, it's very similar to the Nicole Arch. It's got the square tubular design all the way through. It has holes right here for the support spikes if you want to give the trellis extra support. And then the trellis just comes with these ground spikes. And these are designed to give you extra support and length underground. And uh, this is where the trellis goes on top. 
all of this goes right under the ground. So you can use this in your raised beds or you can use this when you're uh, putting it into the landscape. And you just simply put it in. You can use a mallet or hammer or whatever you need to do. I had my, uh, when I first did this, I had my 11 year old help me and we, she held my hand while I stood on it. It was, you know, really um, special. And then you just make sure you've got the placement right, the, the distance is right. What we did is we put one in and then uh, we, turn, we put the, started to put the trellis in. What I would do is I would put one side on, or I think this is my top, isn't it? Is it? No, I'm doing it the wrong way, sorry. I would put one side on like this and then use this to mark where the other one would go. So I just put it right there and then I would show my daughter, okay, this is where the next spike needs to go. So I'm gonna push this one over just a little bit, see if I can use what I already have. Ow. Okay, and then I'm just gonna slide it in just like that. Now this hole should be a little bit firmer. You know, you can tell I've used it already, but you wanna have pretty um, solid ground that you're pushing down into. You may need to push a little bit deeper um, and almost bury the spikes just a little bit if you find that your soil is a little too loose. All right, so that's step one or step two. Step one is the ground spikes. Step two, you slide this piece on. You can see the front here. That's how you know this is the part you want facing the outside of your garden. So for this space, I'm gonna be doing blackberries. So I've got this bar facing forward. And then you just simply take the top piece and align the two sides, just like that. And you're connected. So now the only piece left to do is to take these uh, bolts and nuts and connect them and you are now ready to grow. So uh, the last thing you just wanna be sure is that you have it nice and firm on the ground. You don't want it to be moving around. So you can atta attach the ground spikes that are included or um, you can go so far, like if this is something you're putting permanent in your landscape, you can also just pour a little bit of cement right in the planting hole, right in the um, stake hole. <laughs> and put, you can put some cement right in that stake hole and then um, this thing is not going to move. So these are powder coated. They're designed to last for years outside and uh, they're made of steel just the way all of our other trellises are and I think you're gonna love it. So let me know if you have any questions about our new panel trellis. I can't wait to ship these out to a garden near you very soon.